I've gotten a lot of questions about how I made the teeth on my front mount intercooler and uh, this is pretty much all you'll need aside from the front mount intercooler. I'd also recommend that you get masking tape and maybe magazine or some sort of paper to uh, cover for overspray. But what you'll need is a tape measure, you'll need a good old box cutter of some sort, razor blade, scissors, whatever. You'll need a box that will be basically a little bigger than your intercooler once unfolded and stuff. You'll need black paint and white paint and you will need a sharpie or a marker of some sort. First thing you want to do is get your cardboard and unfold it. Make it, uh, you know, flat. Alright, so there it is. It's all unfolded and opened up. Now what you're going to want to do is go to your front mount intercooler and measure the dimensions. You're going to want to measure the, uh, the length and the height. Um, you might have to take your front bumper off. You don't have to remove the front mount intercooler to do this. Um, obviously it'll be easier. So if your intercooler is off, you could just bring your intercooler to the cardboard and trace the intercooler. But if your intercooler is on the car, no problem. But you might actually, you'll most likely have to take the front bumper cover off. That way you can get the right dimensions and when you paint, you won't paint your bumper by accident. Anyways, what you're going to want to do is get the dimensions or trace it if your intercooler is off. Since I already did it to my car, I'm not going to do it again. Um, let's just pretend that my intercooler is... Let's say 24 inches across and 12 inches high. Let's just pretend that's my intercooler. Um, what you'd have to do is basically just mark exactly where you want everything. Like I said, length and height is all that matters. It doesn't matter if your intercooler is like kind of like a trapezoid shape or rounded at the corners. That really doesn't matter, just the length and the height. So once you know that, you're going to want to cut out uh, the width and the height of your intercooler. So just to confirm that you cut out the right size, go to your intercooler and just place this up against it and it should cover your intercooler 100%. So this is where you can be creative, um, the teeth pattern. You're going to be cutting out the teeth, okay? It's going to be like a stencil. So, you know, do you want it to be symmetrical? Do you want to have like vampire fangs, like maybe the canines to be a little longer? Uh, do you want it to have buck teeth? You know what I mean? Measure this across, like I said, this is 24 inches across, so you can do the math, you can make some teeth 3 inches wide and some 4, really whatever you want to do, um, but just make sure that you make it look decent, because how this looks is basically how it's going to turn out on your intercooler. So um, with my car, it was difficult because my bumper comes over the intercooler here, so it kind of looks like my car has an underbite, which... You know, you live, you learn. Didn't really take that into account at the time. So take that into account too. What part of your intercooler is covered by the bumper? And maybe that's where you should start your teeth. So again, for demonstrational purposes, I'm just going to make my teeth all the same width. Now the height of the teeth you could change, like I said, if you want vampire looking teeth. Like, So I made my teeth three inches apart, just making dots for where they're going to start. And uh, now I'm going to deal with the height. Now I was thinking for the height, I could make them maybe three inches tall make my canine maybe four inches tall, and then make the rest, you know, three, then four, then three. And I'm gonna do the exact same for the top as well to keep it symmetrical. All right, so I got all my dots set up. Um, so now we can play connect the dots. You can get a piece of scrap of cardboard for this. And this, you can pretty much eyeball this. You don't have to be perfect. If you wanna be perfect, you can get yourself a protractor and measure the angles and make sure they're all perfect. But as long as you did the dots correctly, this should be pretty straightforward and you can eyeball it. Like I said, these should all be perfectly three inches apart. All the teeth should be uh, three inches high from the bottom of the cardboard. Got the line across. Um, that way I can ignore the dots for the three inches. Um, <clears throat> the canines still have their dots up top. But uh, this is where you're going to want to eyeball it. Okay, so now I know exactly in the corner exactly where I'm going to have each tooth start. <clears throat> How I did this was I just made this square right here with the, the top line and then I brought it over to the dot and I drew my line. I prefer just the very cartoony straight up and down. Alright, so all done up. Like I said, it's demonstrational so um, if you want your teeth to be shorter, you want to be taller, it's all up to you. Yeah, let's start cutting. So uh, get your box cutter. You want to make very defined, very sharp edges. Because um, this is going to go right up against your intercooler and you're going to spray over this. So if there's any gap like here, when you spray it with paint, you don't want that spray to go where the teeth aren't. You know, it'll kind of look shitty. So um, get a lot of masking tape if your cardboard is like this so that you can make sure it's flat against the intercooler. Good idea if you want to save yourself some time. 
don't stencil at the top. What you can do actually is cut it, get the piece that you cut out, put it right up top, and just trace it with the with the sharpie. Uh, but yeah, so that's just one way to save a lot of time. So I just want to show you before I finish it off. Um, the tips of the teeth, you want to make sure that you get all the cardboard out because, like I said, that'll show up when you're done painting. It'll look like you have dull teeth, and I don't know if that's the look you're going for, but probably not. So another thing you want to make sure you don't have are these little edges. Don't worry too much about these uh, bottom pieces. Um, you know, obviously clean up the edges, but bottom stuff don't worry about too much because that should go around the bottom of your inner core anyways, so it won't show up in the paint that much. But like I said, all this crap in here, you want to make sure you clean up clean up the tips. One thing I would recommend you do to clean up the edges is get just like get a razor blade and while holding it just kind of scrape along it. That'll get all the, I don't know, frays or whatever you want to call it. Get That'll get most of them out. Um, you know, if you want to clean up the lines, you can. First thing you want to do is get your intercooler and spray it black. Let's pretend that this cardboard right here is the intercooler. So, we're going to. You want to spray your entire intercooler black. Now, the type of paint you use is up to you. They're, they make intercooler paints. Mighty Carmods actually did a Mythbusters thing on whether or not painting your intercooler affects the cooling. Um, you know, that's all up to you. So yeah, I would give it just like two or three coats. I wouldn't go crazy with it, obviously. And um, keep in mind that you have your AC condenser and your uh, radiator behind the intercooler. So if you want, before you spray, um, if this is your intercooler right here, I would recommend getting like big pieces of cardboard and shoving it behind your front mount so that the, pa the paint doesn't go through your intercooler into your engine, you know, radiator, condenser, cover, whatever the fuck you have behind your front mount. The cardboard you put behind your intercooler will stop it, so just spray it black or whatever color. And then you get your teeth and uh, you line it up right. Make sure that the stencil is flat against your intercooler because if you have any gaps like that, the paint will go behind it and it'll make your teeth look uh, kind of worn out, undefined, and just crappy. You'll have overspray. So yeah, flat, get your tape. Once it's on and you're happy, get your white paint and spray over it. Just give it nice, even coats over it. Make sure you get the tips, make sure you get it all well. Don't, when you're doing it, don't like spray at an angle because there are gonna be gaps. We're, we're playing with cardboard here, it's not perfect. But uh, yeah, don't spray at angles or anything. Just spray straight at it, go across it, and uh, do the same for the top. And it should turn out half decent. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's not that difficult, it's just uh, creativity and something different. Um, but this can be applied with anything. You can make your own stencils, you can make, you know, you can cut out the word WRX in a cool looking font. You can do whatever you want. This is just uh, a pattern that I've chosen and uh, it seemed to have gotten some good feedback from the local car groups and the interwebs. Um, Something different, you know what I mean? That's my main goal with uh, modding cars. And uh, if you want to make your intercooler something different than, uh, you know, aluminum gray, then this is uh, this is the mod for you. Maybe not the teeth. I mean, that's that's totally up to you. But uh, some sort of stencil or different colors and whatnot. So uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me get, know what uh, kind of projects you're working on. And see y'all next time. Peace out.